Yeah. This is something you expend expense every day. You know, it's a resource that you use and it's very limited. All right. And refreshes when you rest or when you sleep. All right. And that's the topic that we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm Josh V. Castro, you beautiful person. You are. Uh, how are you? Is that something you should you should ask? Uh, probably. Uh, you know, if you're doing good, then it's, it's awesome. If you're not, then, you know, that that's life. That's life for you. Anyway, we are doing, we are now on day eight of Hashtag Project 9 Minute Video 30 Day Challenge. I'm going to be doing this for 30 days. So we have pretty much 22 more of these to go <laughs> yay uh and you know i am learning i am growing i am i think hopefully holding this skill that i ought that i sought to you know level up after to increase the hone to practice to master this on camera presence this presentation this being on video on camera and yeah, and in today's topic, we're going to be talking about willpower. That's right. That is the resource that you will be using every single day as you move along through your life journey, as you make your choices. That was yesterday's video. We did. We talked about choices and choices are intertwined with willpower because, you know, there are choices that you don't necessarily want to make, but you know is right for you. And it's going to need willpower. And if you don't have enough willpower to actually push through, then that choice that you wanted to make probably is highly likely not going to happen. So you don't want that, right? You don't want that for you. You want to make sure that you have the willpower to focus, to pursue, to move forward, to accomplish whatever it is you want to do. And how to do that is simply... Remove the things that aren't necessary in your life. You know, it's technically a point of being a minimalist where you just, you know, minimize everything to the bare bones, but while still enjoying, while still living a full life, while still living. It's not minimalism per se, but it's the, the idea of it that you apply, not to every part of your life. Cause you know, then if you do that, then you're a pure minimalist. But to to the most parts of your life, I'm like, if you can, for example, if you're you're a person that doesn't like washing your clothes, right? Because you know, yeah, that you know you don't have time to wash your clothes because you have, you have stuff, you have better stuff to do. All right, then just you know, you pay someone to do that. All right, or go you know pay someone to pick up your clothes in the morning or once a week. And then let them wash it up. And then when, you know, when they're done, they bring it back with, you know, fresh clothes. All right. And then, you know, you didn't have to wash clothes, but you did spend money, right? You gave them, you know, they had a service, you bought it, and then you, you save time. All right. I also made a video on time. All right. And then by removing one chore, one task out of your day, that's less willpower to use. Oh, no. That's more willpower to use elsewhere. You, you know, you know where I'm going at. All right. For in, for instance, you know, you 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 like making videos, or you want to make a video. All right. Your on camera presence skill, your presentation is on point. All right. You you make your point across. You know, whatever topic or subject you're talking about, and you know, you have this this personality that people enjoy, people like, and everything. It's, you know, it's perfect. Except when it comes to editing, you just aren't there. All right, and you tried, you tried editing for like you know a week. You gave it a chance, you know, a month, and it's just not something you like. It's not something you enjoy. Then go to Fiverr. This is not sponsored by Fiverr, by the way. But you know, you can follow me there. I'll be doing that anyway. Just go to Fiverr. Pick someone to edit your videos. You know, high star ratings, five star ratings, lots of reviews. Let them edit your video. And then, you know, that eliminates the excuse of not creating a video in the first place because you don't like editing videos. Although money might be an issue, all right? But, you know, if you really want something, if you really want to pursue something, then that's what it takes. Unless you're willing to put in the willpower to learn video editing, but it's not for you. It's not for everyone, all right? It's not, it's not a, a skill that you might not want to pursue because you just want to focus... On you know bringing value to the world which is a good thing all right so yeah you don't have to be a video editor or to be able to know how to edit videos 
to be a content creator or YouTuber, especially if you have the skill of really capturing the, the audience, that's that's something I want to learn. That's something I want to get. Hence this 30-day challenge, hence this project. So, yeah. So, you know, by getting a video editor, right, to do your video editing needs, you know, you could focus your willpower elsewhere, probably on marketing, right? You know, if you, if you, you know, if like of all the things that you need, to, of all the to-dos on your to-do list and then video editing is like your least favorite, then you could put your willpower in marketing, which you're at least somewhat good at because, you know, maybe you have background or maybe it's just an, an idea or a concept or, you know, we're on social media today, so it's probably easier for you. And then, you know, video editing is just a whole world in and of itself. So you can focus your willpower there. See, willpower is limited in a sense. Because, you know, why is it limited? Think of it like this, you know, as you go through the day, you wake up in the morning, you're full, you're fresh. You're full? Well, you're not full. You're, you fasted for eight hours if you sleep eight hours. But you're fresh, you know, it's a new day. It's a new you. You feel good. You feel energized. You feel revitalized. You can take on the day, right? And then as you as you go, as you shift into the afternoon, you know, you start getting droggy. You start getting tired. You know, you've already made a lot of important choices throughout the day, which expended willpower. And then now when the decision comes in the evening, in the afternoon, late afternoon, in the night, you just can't decide, right? You just can't you can't focus your brain because your brain, like all muscles, I'm not saying that the brain is a muscle, is it? Anyway, but you know, they get tired through usage. Right? And it's through that usage that you know your brain gets exhausted and won't be able to function at its one hundred percent. Alright, there is a workaround like in that video I made about breaks, taking a break. Alright, just take an af afternoon break or, you know, practice polyphasic sleeping because, you know, in polyphasic sleeping, you actually take 20 minute naps around the clock depending on what technique you use. And, you know, it is, you know, by resting your mind, resting your body, taking that nap, it can re-energize you as if you took a good, nice, long sleep. So that's something we'll probably be looking to someday because, you know, I want to practice it. It's hard. It's not, it's simple. It's hard, but <clears throat> uh, yeah. So when you take a break, it kind of, in a sense, it's like you're, you're going uphill, right? And then you're going downhill now because you're tired. When you take that nap right here and then you wake up or you you go up just slightly just not not as if you woke up from your good core sleep or your good long sleep but it's better than nothing right so it's your that's your midday break or your you take two breaks a day all right take a nap refresh your mind you know rethink reevaluate and refocus your you know whatever agenda you plan to pursue so yeah that that's one workaround to actually make sure that your willpower is you know safe you have to keep it safe because you know just like with time it's it's something you give to the world i'm like you give to yourself in the, in the pursuit of whatever happiness you perceive you want anyway nine minutes